is a potential short trade setup for CC how Conifor Corp cruise lines and uh, scaling back here on the monthly each candle kind of representing a month we essentially put down a falling three method pattern here we got your first rejection you got your one candle two candle three candle above previous high and a failed rejection again beautiful looking falling three method pattern as I say usually longer term charts usually over the bear overbear the nearer term charts as far as the daily goes here we had a primary trend line off the corona crash lows we broke down issued a sell signal came back down gap down came down to the 1630 support bounce up had a counter trend rally here back tested that downtrend line primary downtrend line came back down another counter trend rally broke above its downtrend line and essentially put in a bigger divergent high all at the same time while we have uh, continuously all three indicators with const uh, constructing bearish and negative divergences on all three potentially with a crossover uh, potential crossover on the oscillator MACD and a break below that would take us down below its zero line and uh, issue a pretty good wave of selling. I believe a break of that 2135 ought to do the trick. Coincidentally working along its side with the 50 day moving average right beneath it. So perfect little pivot point. Again, usually when you have a, a, a breakout like this off a downtrend line and when it fails, it's either ever more bearish because a lot of the bears are, I mean, a lot of the bulls that are bought into the stock are stuck in between and uh, we'll, uh, we'll essentially come down to that 1914 for a 9% drop. So I got T2 at a 13.9% drop, T3 at a 22.4% drop. All the side two on the hourly, we've got a fallen three method pattern too, as well as a three outside down bearish pattern. And um, I think uh, it's baking the cake here. We just need the news and headlines to follow. Uh, we had a weird, awkward story come out the other day, just not too long ago with a woman that uh, they're searching for. Apparently they said that they, uh, some of the security guards on Carnival Cruise had handcuffed her. Carnival Cruise is claiming that uh, the woman being handcuffed was unstatuated and it was untrue. Uh, apparently there's video that talks about her um, moments before she went overboard. The other passengers claiming that she was handcuffed too. She was only 32 years old so not sure if the story builds even bigger. But as far as now, we'll just look at the technicals for now and wait for a break below. 